So we can see we have our route mapped, but it's not quite in the best or optimized order. To go ahead and optimize our route, we're going to hit the green button labeled Optimize. You'll see a small loading screen while it communicates with our mapping server. Once completed, just hit the blue button at the bottom of the screen. The page should refresh and you should see then your new optimized route order looks a lot better. If we scroll down, we can see that the schedule here shows us a new column to let us know what the new stop number is going to be for the optimized order. It'll let us know by the arrow either pointing up or down in colored green or red the position that the stop had moved. So what was number six is now number one. What was number one has now moved down to number two, so on and so forth. If we need to make a change, manually overriding the stop number, or maybe possibly editing the customer's location, we can simply just tap anywhere on the row, make our correction, hit save. If we want to accept this order as our new route order, just hit the green button, accept all. Alternatively, if you need to override this, maybe because of start times or your own order, you could just accept the individual changes on each row. I'll go ahead and hit accept all. You'll see a status message that the route was saved. If we want to print directions, we can hit the purple button labeled print directions. Now to get this to communicate back to the service program on the desktop, we simply need to hit sync mobile devices and then sync routes. Once the sync is complete, we can hit OK and go ahead and bring up our route schedule. We will now see that the route schedule has been updated to match whatever the optimization system recommended as long as I had hit accept.